Hey vlog, so it's Friday night, Friday evening. It's about six o'clock, 6.30, I look crazy. But I'm actually cooking, I'm frying some fish. My, se my season, what? My sister-in-law made chicken and shrimp fried rice from scratch. And so I am frying some fish right now, so let's go see. So it's Saturday morning. I am going to get my massage for this neck and back. You know, it's crazy too. I have the massage today and I woke up very, very much in pain. Like my neck was killing me this morning. So, good thing the appointment is for today because I need it. Boy, do I need it. So I switched to my phone. I don't know if this is better. Hopefully it is. But um, I wear my natural hair today. It's actually doing its thing. It's, it's cooperating. It's being kind of kind. It's being sweet. But anyways, what I want to talk to y'all about, I kind of have a vent, a rant. And I've always been very vulnerable and open with y'all. And so I want to keep that energy, you know? I want to keep being like that with y'all. So my last two videos are not doing hot at all. They're not doing good. And um, the last one is a vlog, the vlog I did in Austin with my best friend. And it has three dislikes. And that's not a lot, I understand that's not a lot. But I'm like, okay, three people dislike this, why? What's wrong with it so I can improve? I really do take that as feedback, like, okay, what did I do wrong? What's wrong with this video? So that's that. And then y'all was not fucking with the, the tape, the breast tape. Um, I don't have that many likes on that video. I definitely don't have that many views on it y'all weren't feeling that and that's where i'm split and torn like i know my audience y'all enjoy vlogs like y'all want to see my daily life like this which is great that's fine because i really i really just like doing vlogs too but the thing is do i not take advantage of these opportunities for me to make money you know do i not utilize my platform to to make more money or extra money or to even show y'all stuff because I would never I, my business, I would never talk about something that I didn't believe in so when I ever whenever I have like a sponsored video which y'all I will be very honest I have turned down a lot of things I turned down a lot of things because I'm like I'm not doing that for my subscribers like they're not going to be fucking with it and I and besides them I don't even use it so why would I talk about this on my channel? And so I actually have more sponsored videos coming. But I'm just like, I don't know what to do because y'all don't like them. <laughs> but also, I do, if I do have a sponsored video, the first thing I ask, or a sponsorship, I, the first thing I'm asking is, what do they get? Because y'all watching it. Why would I not give y'all something? If y'all not getting nothing, I'm not about to make the video. Because what's the point? You're watching the video. You're the one that are, you know, the potential buyers so why would i not have anything for you a special discount or something free or anything for you so um i don't know i'm just like what what do y'all like what do y'all not like because of course i don't know i really was thinking i've been thinking about this for a minute like i want to stop youtube and i'm like i don't know do i want to stop it because i'm not seeing the growth that i would like like i'm not seeing the engagement or the growth and then I have videos where y'all watch the videos, but there's no likes. And I'm like, what's going on then? Are y'all just watching it to watch? I don't know. And I'm saying y'all as in just 
the audience not you know my subscribers so i don't know i'm conflicted i really don't know what to do and like the tape the breast tape i really do use that so i would not come on and talk about something that i really didn't use like that's stupid as hell to me or lie to y'all for a product no i'm never gonna do that like the teamy i really use teamy i i actually used teamy before they sponsored me so i was actually using teamy before i was even sponsored by them i was drinking teamy tea for a minute for years actually for years and so when i got that sponsorship i was like oh my god like they want to sponsor me and like i've been drinking them like i really like them and so i don't know y'all not fucking with teamy either i don't know and i'm not saying like trying to say y'all like oh it's a weight loss because it's not but it definitely flushes you out. I was drinking the tea in placement of coffee because I wasn't drinking coffee. So I was drinking my tea in the morning. Gave me more energy. Little shit like that, you know? But, um, I don't know. I'm just trying to see what do y'all like? What do you guys enjoy? Because <sighs> I'm really considering, like, just letting this whole YouTube platform go. Because I'm not seeing the engagement and the growth that I want. I'm really not. I wanted to have, I feel like my subscriber uh, count, like it's going really slow. I feel like I'm hitting a plateau. There was a point when I hit 5,000 and it just skyrocketed. Like I kept getting subs and now it's like, it's so hard for me to even get to 10,000 subscribers. Like, I don't know nobody's fucking with me like that. So maybe I need to just stop making the content. But then I know there's a few of you who really do fuck with me and have been following me for years i've been on here since what 23 and i'm 28 y'all have been with me through my breakup through my relationship through a lot of things my moves my several moves that i've had so i don't know y'all i'm really just like i don't know what to do i just want to make the best and the most fun engaging content for y'all And of course, I appreciate feedback. One of my subscribers actually did leave a comment and was like, um, they don't appreciate the sponsored content. If they want to watch a vlog, that's what they want to watch. They don't want to see other shit in it. So that I appreciated that. So it's like the separate videos, are y'all going to watch those? No. <laughs> so that's why, I, that's the thing too, to answer or to go on that point. That's why I do put some sponsored things into my vlogs. Because that's all I really do is vlog. Like, I don't really sit down and film videos unless it's gonna be like about teaching or manifesting something I'm trying to like educate and teach on. But when it comes to, <laughs> you know, the sponsor things, I try to put those in, just slip them in the vlog. Cause my day to day life, you know what I mean? My daily life. So I don't know y'all, ciao, I don't know. Any feedback is appreciated, honestly. Like, what do you guys want? Like, should we not make the sponsor content? Should we not try to make the extra buck? You know, I don't know. I don't know. The breast tape, like I really did use it. I'm almost out of it, actually. <laughs> I used it three times on three separate occasions and I, it worked. Like, I don't know if y'all into that or like, you know, y'all wear low cut things and need breast tape, but Skims is a lot more expensive. <laughs> just saying but um yeah so this was my little rant i don't know what kind of content you guys like even my teaching videos my teaching videos don't get that many views and that's where a lot of people follow me from is from me teaching okay um, so i just finished my massage it was amazing it was a little short though because i was late yikes but i am at liberty taco now if y'all I don't know this is just my opinion i really love shrimp tacos now and liberty taco has some really good shrimp tacos there's only two locations though they got one the one i'm at which is i guess like the galleria location and then they have one um like by nrg what is that called like the medical center area but i'm by the one like right where i used to live i don't live there no more and i used to eat this all the time but yeah i'm getting shrimp tacos and i also got stuff for my sister-in-law so i guess we'll do like a little mukbang when i get back home because we got so much shit to try i really love this place liberty taco it's probably not real mexican food you know real mexican food i guess is like the taco trucks and stuff but like i said i love the shrimp in it it's the shrimp tacos it's two different shrimp tacos I don't know if it's ready though. 
sorry i think i'm gonna just talk to y'all i don't remember what she said if she said like 15 minutes or 10 i don't know but yeah so my hair is changing colors again the bleach is coming out do y'all see how light it is right there i think that i am going to go and get a trim i'm trying to see when though and i'm also trying to see where so there's this girl on instagram she specializes in natural curly hair um, I believe her name is like Rosalie or something like that. My the girl who braids my hair, my girl Tiara, she put me on her. But she's like, oh god, this is from the the chair. I mean the massage thing. But um, she specializes in curly hair, like perfecting the curls and getting the curls to come back to life because mine are dead apparently. Um. But I just want to trim. I really just want to trim it because I haven't trimmed my hair since last August. So that's been like eight months now. So I want to get it trimmed and then I want her to like do I guess like a consultation and see like what my hair needs. If I need the Olaplex, if I need whatever because I just want to wear my hair curly. I don't want to blow out. But she does all that like blowouts and stuff but I don't want that. I just want my curls to be amazing and back to life because they look dead so i'm waiting on her to email me back i had to email her for a consultation so i'm waiting on her to email me back so i can set an appointment to go just get it trimmed let her see what to do with it and then we'll go from there i'm also trying to get to to braid my hair i want to braid it just straight to the back but i want to do the braids after i get my trim so yeah I'm going to see if she can trim my hair soon, like this week or next week. And then I'll go get my braids from Tiara. But I also think um, I'm just going to put in my little box braids so I don't have to do my hair. Like jumbo ones. I could do those really quickly. And yeah, that's my hair plan. <laughs> that was very random. But the man inside the restaurant right now, Liberty Taco, is staring at me. Is this not the norm now? Do people not talk to their cameras and their phones? Like, what if I was on FaceTime? He's really just staring at me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, let me go check and see if these tackles are ready. The bag is secured. Let's go. Okay. Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh man broke her camera Hi, <laughs> okay all done hey hey so <laughs> baked <to> food <laughs> Got all kinds of cool things. This is the quesadilla. Yep, I got a shrimp quesadilla. Came with guac and sour cream. This is just a half a quesadilla. So shrimp quesadilla. You want to try some? Yeah. Of course you don't. Yeah. No. We got tacos. I don't have their label. Oh, they are tequila shrimp. I got a tequila shrimp taco. Um, I don't know what to say. S7? 8? Maybe that don't say tequila shrimp. It say S7. 13. Oh, it must be numbers on the menu, maybe? <laughs> and we got chips and queso. And they gave us... I never remember what sauce is what. But we got two of each sauce. Where? Thank you. My allergies. Okay. So they must have numbers on the meat, and this is just all chips. A whole bag of chips. See. Me? What? Strawberry or. Oh, margarita? Let me. How many regulars you got? One. But I mean, if you want it, that's fine. I'll try that. This is me. This is a Baja. A Baja shrimp, no. This is me, the tequila shrimp. These must be you. Alright, let's see. Ooh, what we and we got margaritas. 
Margaritas. Started earlier. Psych, that's from yesterday. <laughs> I'm about to say, did you drink yours yesterday? <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. let's Goose. see. We got number seven S. So that's the Baja. You think? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're doing our BTS? I'm doing a video <laughs> for a movie. Oh. So this is the Baja shrimp. It don't look too appealing right there. Oh, oh that must be your chicken. Yep, that's the Caribbean chicken. Ew. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Don't yuck people's yum. I'm yuck. Oh, that's Caribbean chicken. That actually smells good. And what's this last one? I got um the Baja. That must be the Baja. So she got her Baja with the onions. I don't. Oh my god. Did you show them already? This one. <laughs> here, let me show you. Mm. Let's see. Come here, baby. Come over here. Can y'all see? I like the smell of that. No? <laughs> she really don't. Real <laughs> shrimp. Tequila shrimp taco. These are just regular salsa. Salsas, yeah. I don't remember what's what, medium, mild, and hot. But I think this is the one I like. This is my favorite one. And that's just a whole bag of chips. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see. Oh, what's in it? Chicken? Mm mm. No, no, no. Oh, that's one just cilantro. I think like onion, cilantro. It's good. It's good? That's some good queso. Mm. They did that. With my camera, and we are going to do puzzles. Yay! She don't want to come over here. Mm -hmm. Cause she really don't like the smell. Make sure you have your purse collection ready. All right, that's her favorite, y'all. The Baja shrimp taco. <laughs> but I got mine with the onion. All right. This is my first time getting it without it. Oh, I want to try it without it, yeah. It's a pickled onion. I like a pickled onion. This is a strong um, taste. Okay. It's a huge taco. Some shrimp. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. This right here. Like, let's see. That, from where my finger's at, there, that's a whole piece of shrimp. And there's three of them bad boys in here. Look at this. It's huge. Look at that one. Oh my God. There you go. Can you see? <laughs> All right. Let's see. It's huge. Mm. Is it yes? <laughs> yes or no? It's what? <laughs> That is a what? Mm -hmm. It's a no. It's a tacos so good. These little things too be hitting y'all. These the big ones are in what like H E B and um Target. The big ones, Gloria. I've never seen this little one. So this is cute. But this is 13%. And you drink enough of them, you feel it. You feel it. So we're about to play with my niece nail salon. She's gonna do my nails. And I'm about to go let this battery charge because it's blinking. And I'll see you guys maybe later tonight, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Good morning. I know I look nuts. But, um, I wanted to show y'all my niece did my nails. Don't worry about it. But I wanted to show y'all because I did get some questions on Instagram and Somebody asked me on YouTube, what hair? So these are the curly clip-ins. They look like this because I need to wash them. So this is the 3A, 3B um, curl pattern coil. And this is the brand Better Length Hair. Like I said, they are a little pricey, but they do go by the, the length too. I got mine at 18 inches. 
so these are them and what's really good about these it's so crazy like it's so worth the money to me especially if y'all are like hair people and you know buy hair um they uh they shrink like your hair which is i mean they're curly right so when you wash it and wet it you know they're long and then they actually dry and shrink up and it matches my hair so good so yeah so what i'm currently doing i just updated my website because i got new merchandise so i got this new chain this is uh called the cross but with a k and so i always test all my jewelry too i test it out to make sure you know like it's durable it's not gonna tarnish it's wearable like you can wear it in the shower the water and it's not gonna fade or tarnish or turn your neck green so i always test my jewelry first and yeah so i just updated this on my website what else am i doing i got a whole mess going on down here i'm packaging up some orders as well oh it doesn't look that bad yeah this is like all my inventory i had to organize it into this and so i also have new sunglasses but i want to go do like a little mini shoot i want to go um by my pool area jessica gave me that great idea so i'm going to go in my pool area and set the glasses up to shoot for the new sunglasses but this is on the website period so um earlier in the vlog i was venting about a video that i made and then the negative feedback that i got only from two people though and last night this man and he apparently he watches me and been following me for years he wrote on the the video that he's concerned for my soul and that um something's really weird and different is going on about me and i'm just like wait mind you if you look up the product if y'all youtube the product there are way more revealing raunchier exposed thumbnails and videos and by the way youtube removed my thumbnail i could even show y'all the thumbnail that i originally had i was not exposed it was not provocative at all and yeah i'm just like okay whatever this is not meant for me it's not for me but ain't nothing going on with my soul like what i am completely fine and mind you i am a 28 year old grown woman like what y'all can't take me serious with my nails like this my niece but yeah it's just it's so weird <laughs> to me too and this is just me if i don't like something like if i'm watching something on youtube and i'm like eh, i don't really like this i'm not about to purposely dislike it and purposely comment on it and be like this is stupid I just stop watching it <laughs> I just click out of it and go to something else but that's just me so I don't know I never really understood why people felt the the need to comment on other people's shit negatively it's just whatever but then also you know I'm putting myself out there to be criticized and to be commented on so whatever but yeah he was like this is so weird and different for her if you've been following me for years then you've seen my Instagram my Instagram is a lot worse so because the other girl was like, how are you school? I'm going to put you on blast for this. I would be fired if they saw my Instagram. Which they do see my Instagram. My Instagram is public. So I have a business to run. And I am not changing who I am for anybody. Nor am I. I don't do anything wrong. I'm not out here doing anything that is like ridiculously offensive to anybody. If you don't like something that I'm doing, just stop watching me. Stop following me. But anyway. I am about to, it's really early in the morning. I'm about to go take a shower and wash my hair and wash this hair because it's smoky and stank. Um, and I'm going to blow dry my hair and set it up for my braids. I'm going to do big jumbo box braids again. Or actually, like the, what's her name? Koi Laray, whatever. The little trendy box braids that everybody getting now that I feel like I've been wearing for a minute. Just saying but i did them before like two weeks ago but i'm gonna do them bigger like i'm only gonna have like eight braids so i'm doing bigger and i'm doing shorter so like about right here i usually do really long braids on me but i'm gonna stop them and curl the ends like everybody else has been doing but i don't have um curling rods i just have sponge rollers so that's what i use i'm not going to buy no rods you know like the flexi rods 
those don't work on my hair so yeah i'm gonna go do that now and take my shower and i'll see you guys later in the day Okay, I look crazy, but I'm parting my hair separated for these braids I'm about to do. So I'm going to do this first section. So it'll be two, 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 two. So that's eight. And I'm going to do three and three. So I'm definitely doing more than eight braids. And look who I got with me. She's sitting on the toilet playing on my phone. So let's get to doing this hair. kind of style style braids but I want them real big y'all know what I'm talking about I know y'all know what I'm talking about the big jumbo ones that everybody is getting from oh trying to get it as tight as I can it goes if I wanted to cut them but I think it's gonna be good I don't think I'm gonna have to cut it so I'm gonna put a rubber band about here I might still cut it I'm gonna wait till I finish all of them I just popped a rubber band but so it's about to my chest length I might cut it. Yeah, I might cut it. Maybe like right here, cut it. And then um, curl it. So, first one is down. I ain't even gonna lie, this is the fastest I have ever braided my hair. It might have been 30, 45 minutes. And um, yeah, I'm finished pretty much one whole five. <clears throat> I'm gonna make this in two and I've completed one full side. They are not the most perfect, 
neatest, but it's gonna do the job for this work week that I don't have to do my hair. Just go back. So, my very flat pieces are so bad. My hair unfortunately got a lot of damage and so it pretty much all broke off and I'm so sad. So that's why this piece in the front is super like short. That's why I really need to turn it too so I can get this under control. Oh, I didn't even pull the hair out. Okay, so let me separate my pieces. <clears throat> I'm using like five to six pieces for each braid so that they're thick. So, I'm trying to leave out a lot of baby hair. Okay, so I'm just going to separate into three and braid. And now I'm gonna start adding pieces. And I'll just twist it around. Like I said too, this is gonna last like one week for me. <laughs> I'm not good at tying my hair up because when I do tie it up, it, when I wake up, it's already off. Like the scarf, the bonnet, everything is off. I guess I just sleep too bad. So. I don't even bother with trying to tie my hair up anymore. So I am just gonna see how it goes. I probably, like I said, I had these last just for a week. And we'll see. So I use the beeswax in the area um, like where my hair is gonna stop to try to blend it in as much as I can. Cause I had such a blunt cut if y'all wonder what that noise is, it's Mowgli. He's over right here. So, that is how I do my braid, everybody. Not the most um, professional and perfect at all, but as I keep learning to get the job done so I ain't got to worry about this hair, I don't have to worry about doing it. purposely left this big long piece out too because I want it to look like kind of messy. I don't really want it to look like super freshly done. I want it to look that goddessy effect real messy and um like just hair kind of out of place. I don't know why I think that's cute. So yeah. I will check in with you guys when I'm all done. Okay, so I am finished. So I'm about to cut these though. Cut them, put a little um, mousse on them. Something looks funny right here. Hmm. But I'm about to cut them, put mousse on them, and then um, go dip them and then put them on my rollers. Like I said, I have sponge rollers, not, um, not the flexi guys. But it's 12.47 on Sunday. So I feel like after this, I am about to um, relax, edit this vlog so it can be up for y'all. And this is how I'm cutting it. I'm trying to like cut it in an angle. Um, tomorrow though at work is a PD, so we're not really working tomorrow. We'll just be on our laptops in the classroom. You know how we do. <laughs> um, what else did I want to say? This feels very a lot. I'm gonna thin it out. I think yeah, guys. I think that's it for the vlog. I know y'all are enjoying the long vlogs. I have no idea how long this one is currently. 
we'll see. But I do want to get this up. I want to start like my turnaround being faster. I want to um, have vlogs out like quicker so you can see I'm like kind of in real time. Kind of, you know what I mean? Like if something happens on Friday, I want y'all to see it Saturday. So I want like a really quick turnaround. So yeah, we're also watching, as I said, I'm ending the vlog. I'll keep talking. We're watching, um, they showed them, we, my family. And so I, um, we'll probably finish watching that today. We're on episode four. So if y'all are watching them, let me know how y'all like it. We're watching it on Amazon Prime. I think it is an Amazon original. Oh so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's how I just cut these a little better. Cut this side. Can you see the difference? Yeah, you can see the difference. It's a little shorter. A little shorter. So yeah, maybe um I don't know. Maybe I'll come back on to show y'all. Uh, no, because I'm not gonna take the rollers out till tomorrow when I go to work. So never mind. <laughs> that's not true i will just just trust how they come out okay <laughs> trust that they're gonna come out cute i'm about to finish this and go eat because they brought me some soup and catch you guys later i'll see y'all in the next video